Hi, my name's Claire. Welcome to the museum. The museum is a fantastic place to explore the environments of Queensland. But what's even better is exploring these environments in real life, outside, in the wild. Come on, let's go. Today I'm visiting the beach and I'm going beach combing. Beach combing is a great way to investigate the coastal environment without getting your feet wet. I'm looking for interesting things that have been washed up. They may have come from way out in the ocean or from the reef or from the mangroves. I'm sure everyone knows what this is, budgie food, right? This is a cuddle bone. It's the inside shell of a cuttlefish, which is related to squids and octopus. The cuttlefish fills the bone with air to adjust its buoyancy so that it can go up and down in the water. Here is a shell with a perfect hole in it. That would have been made by a carnivorous snail like this one. This snail sneaks up on its prey, drills a hole in the shell with its tongue and then it eats the animal inside. And look at this, this is the skeleton of a hard urchin. When it's alive, it's covered in short, fine spines. This is its mouth and this is its bottom. Oh, this is a mangrove seed. It probably dropped into the water when it was high tide. This is a piece of rock. It's full of holes and it's really light. It came from an underwater volcano way, way out in the Pacific that erupted and then it floated here. I'm back at the museum in the collection store. This is where we keep thousands and thousands of specimens that the museum's researchers have collected. There are even examples of some of the things that we saw today on the beach. I had such a great time beachcombing that I've made this beach collage as a memento. I use torn paper. Why don't you make a collage? Next time you go to the beach, go beachcombing. I wonder what interesting objects you'll find washed up.